Ο Θεό λάσ με τον μαρτολό και λέει σώμα. Ο Θεό λάσ με τον μαρτολό και λέει σώμα. Κύριε τα χείλη μου ανοίξει και το στόμα μου αναγγελεί την ένεσή σου. Brothers and sisters, forgive me, as in a secure somi, to no martolon, Christiotha, Simon Sikhorus, Tiagus, and the Ninke, Aikis, to see all us to no mean. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. For the peace of God and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, And those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop Gerasimos, the honorable presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, and of all the clergy and all the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and temperate seasons, Let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us. Have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. You, o Lord. Lord our God, whose power is beyond compare and glory is beyond understanding, whose mercy is boundless and love for us is ineffable. Look upon us and upon this holy house in your compassion. Grant to us and to those who pray with us your abundant mercy. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Give the King thy judgments, O God, and your righteousness unto the King's Son, through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. May the mountains bring peace to your people and the little hills righteousness. Tell forth from day to day the glad tidings of the salvation of our God. Despres vias dis theotokus oter sohosonimas. The Lord hath sworn in truth unto David, he will not turn from it. Of the fruit of your body will I sit upon your throne. Through the intercessions of the theotokos, Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us. Have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. O Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church 
Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. He shall come down as rain upon a fleece and as the dew which falls upon the earth. Save us, O Son of God, incarnate for us. We sing to you, Alleluia. Our God shall plainly come and shall not keep silence. The Most High hath sanctified his tabernacle. Our God shall plainly come and shall not keep silence. Save us, O Son of God, for us incarnate. We sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Logos of God, being immortal, you condescended for us salvation to take flesh from the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. Christ our God, you were crucified, but conquered death by death. Being one with the Holy Trinity, glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us. Have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. O Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord, you have given us grace to offer these common prayers with one heart. You have promised to grant the request of two or three gathered in your holy name. Fulfill now the petitions of your servants for our benefit, giving us the knowledge of your truth in this world and granting us eternal life in the world to come. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Master Lord our God, you have His name shall be blessed forever. His name shall continue long as in the sun. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who only does wondrous things. And blessed be His glorious name unto the ages and unto the ages of ages. On this day when our salvation is crowned for eternity, and the revelation of the history of the ages. O oh, the Son of God becomes on this day the Virgin Son, with Gabriel proclaiming the tidings of God's grace. And we also join in the cry unto the Theotokos singing, Hail to you who are filled with his grace, the Lord is with you. Wisdom, let us arise. Evangelize Imer aneximeras to sotirion to theu imon. So sonimas ye theu, o dimas arcothis, salondas y aleluia. Simeron ti sotirias y monto que faleon. 
Και του απέωνο μυστηρίου η φανέρωσης, ο ιό του Θεού, ιό τη Παρθένου γίνεται. Και Γαβρίλ την χώρη ευαγγελίζεται. Διό και ημί είναι αυτό, τη Θεό το κοβόησο με. Χαίρε και χαριτωμένη ο Κύριος με τα σου. To you as champion unto victory invincible your city offers thanksgiving unto you. From our trials, Theotokos, have you redeemed us? For as you possess invincible might and power, from all dangers, Theotokos, deliver us. As we cry unto you, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy God, you dwell among your saints. You are praised by the seraphim with the thrice holy hymn and glorified by the cherubim and worshiped by all the heavenly powers. You brought all things out of nothing into being. You have created men and women in your image and likeness and adorn them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the supplicant, and do not overlook the sinner, but have established repentance as the way of salvation. You have enabled us, your lowly and unworthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar and to offer to you due worship and praise. Master, accept the thrice holy hymn also from the lips of our sinners, and visit us in your goodness, Forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions. Sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives by the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Magnify 
Arise, the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the humility of his servant. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us listen attentively. Brethren, he who sanctifies and those who are sanctified have all one origin. That is why he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will proclaim thy name to my brethren. In the midst of the congregation I will praise thee. And again, I will put my trust in him, and again, here am I, and the children God has given me. Since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same nature, that through death he might destroy him who has the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong bondage. For surely it is not with angels that he is concerned, but with the descendants of Abraham. Therefore he had to be made like his brethren in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make expiation for the sins of the people. For because he himself has suffered and been tempted, he is able to help those who are tempted. Blessed be the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. He shall come down like rain that falls on the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May his name be blessed forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your holy gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, Christ, our God, are the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory, together with your fathers, without beginning, and your all-holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be on to you all. And with your spirit, the Holy Gospel is according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. In those days, Elizabeth, the wife of Zacharias, conceived, and for five months, she hears herself saying, Thus the Lord has done to me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin be told to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, O favor one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But she, greatly troubled at the saying, and considered in her mind what sort of reading this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born of you will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived 
a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Oh, oh, oh. oh glory to you, O Lord. Again, we bow before you and pray to your good and loving God. Hear our supplications. Cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit. And grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that they may always worship you with reverence and with love. Partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation, and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always, God, and by your power, we may give glory to you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Oh, 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 amen. No one bothers <laughs> Is worthy to to serve His glory, and also be loved and but because of your ineffable and love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You have served as a high priest and Lord of all and trusted to us the salvation of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the Lord of the earth, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among the saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, a sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil consciousness. Enable me by the power of the Holy Spirit, so that blessed with the grace of priesthood, I may stand before the holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy body and breath and precious blood. To you, I come to bow head and pray, and turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but make me your sinful and unworthy servant worthy to offer to you these gifts, for you, Christ, are rather the offer and the offer. The one who receives and distributed it to you, we give glory, together with your eternal Father, with the life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
Он Transgressions, let us ask the Lord. 
grant this, O Lord, for all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world. Let us ask the Lord, grant this, O Lord, for the completion of our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord, this, o Lord for a Christian into our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask the Lord, grant this, O Lord, commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, most holy Theotokos ever. with all the saints, let us commit ourselves in one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners and let it reach your holy altar. Enable us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of the people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence, so that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, and that your good and gracious spirit may abide with us, with the gifts you presented, and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Oh, I love you, Lord, you're my strength, my rock, my fortress, and, and my deliverer. Trinity, one in essence, and undivided. Guard the doors, wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God. Oh, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Spirit. Let us lift up our hearts to the Lord. We lift them up to 
Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to sing to you, bless you, praise you, thank you, and worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond the existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing. And when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things that we know and do not know. For blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and seraphim, six winged, many eyes soaring with their wings, singing a victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord of all heaven, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. O Hosanna in the highest, O blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so love your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us on the night when he was delivered up, or rather, when he gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Lavete, fayete, tuto muestito soma, tu e perimo. For you, for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. O mios, que to potirio metá tu dipnis elegon. Piete exaftu pandes, tuto estito emamu. Totis genis diathikis, to eperimon ke polon ekinomenon, is afesina martion, drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Oh, Remembering therefore this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second glorious coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for Once again, we offer this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ, and that which is in the cup the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit, so that they may be to those who partake of them, for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, 
communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer this spiritual worship we for those who are the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriots, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, teachers, and put every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith, Austin and Esme Rusi. Is nips, is sabes, is amatión, is quinonía, tuyos, nevados, is vasilía, su gran ampliera, is pareciente, proceso, is clima, is catáculo, et y prosfero, mense, tuyo, y quintal, tan matria, y perdón, cristiano, pamsomeno, papatono, patero, patrejón, profitón, apostolón, quiricone, pacalistón, martirón, homologitón, y gratefón, que pandos, nevados, diqueo, en pistite, teleomeno. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. O worth announce good tidings of great joy, heavens praise the glory of God. Let no profane hand touch the living heart of God, but let the lips of the faithful, singing without ceasing the words of the angel, to the Theotokos cry aloud in great joy. Hail you who are full of grace, the Lord is with you. Again, we ask you, Lord, remember all Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of your truth, all presbyters, all deacons, in the service of Christ and everyone in your holy orders. We also offer to you the spiritual worship for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, and for those living in purity and holiness, and for all those in public service. Permit them, O Lord, to serve and govern in peace, that through the faithful conduct of their duties, we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Gerasimus, Grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. Now Gabriel announces the good news, crying rejoice to Mary with his fear. O oh, the wondrous manner, for the Creator is conceived in a chaste womb, saving him whom he created and all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country and the faithful dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, those who are sick, the suffering, the captive, protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches and who care for the poor and send your mercy upon us all. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our loving God who has received them at His holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may return and upon His divine grace. In the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience, 
for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of our transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, Master, without, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be. to your invisible king by your infinite power you created all things and by your great mercy you brought everything from nothing into being master look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you they have bowed not before flesh and blood but before you the awesome god therefore master guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the needs of each of us sail with those who sail travel with those who travel and heal the sick physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Oh. Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place and from the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father and are also visibly present among us. Come and sanctify us and let your pure body and your precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. and let us be attentive. Dogiatis, I use the holy gifts for the holy people of God. Melissa, I believe, Lord, and confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive my transgressions, whether voluntary or involuntary, committed in word or deed, knowingly or unwittingly, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake in your pure mysteries, for remission of my sins, and for everlasting life. Amen. You have enticed me, O Christ, and I yearn for you. By your divine love, you have transformed me. Consume my sins in spiritual flame, and let me be filled with the sheer delight of you, O gracious Lord, that rejoicing I may magnify both your advents. How shall I, so unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal feast, my clothing will disgrace me, since it is not a wedding garment, then I should be bound and cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness. Instead, may I receive them for the cleansing and sanctification of both soul and body, and as a pledge of the future life in your kingdom. It is good for me to cling to my God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of this mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, like the thief I confess you. Lord, remember me in your kingdom.
και του Αγίου Πνεύματο. Έτσι μεταδίδονται αίμοι Θεοφάνου, Ιρήτου, Τίμιου και Πανάγιου αίμα του κυρίου και του Προσέλθετε, approach with the fear of God, faith and love. Με το λαμβάνιο δούλου του Θεού Κωνσταντίνο, σώμα και αίμα Χριστού, η σάφε συνομαστιών και η ζωή αιώνιων. Αμήν. Σώσον ο Θεό των λαών σου και ευλόγησαν την κληρονομία σου. Ιδωμέν το φως του αληθινών, ελάβομεν πνεύμα επουράνιον, εύρωμεν τη στην αληθή. Αδιέρε τον τριάδα προσκυνούντες, αυτή γάρτη μας έσωσε. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. <coughs> Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory, because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your sanctification, that all the day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us be attentive, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, giving us the mysteries of Christ. Let us worthingly give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us. Have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways on the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guide our lives and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. 
grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the Lord and the prophets. This time forth, you have fulfilled all the dispensation of the Father. Fill our hearts with the joy and gladness. We will be now and forever. Apoc in in the ages to of ages. Amen. O blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and to the ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you through His divine grace and love, always, now, and forever. And to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. I hope glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who for us and for our salvation accepted to become incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, his most pure and holy mother, the Annunciation of whom we celebrate this day. The power of the precious and life-giving cross the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, our holy and God-bearing fathers of Saint Paul, the patron saint of our church, and of all the saints that we commemorate today. Through the prayers of Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Oh, amen. May the blessing of the Theotokos be with you all the days of your lives. Please be seated. Just for a few minutes, I'd like to say that we're living in difficult times. There's no doubt about that. We're afraid to leave our homes in the fear that we may catch something or give somebody a sickness. And so we are afraid. But we are also very strong and very resilient. And we have always called upon the Theotokos throughout the ages we called upon her in times of needs. And this is one of those needs today. We ask the Virgin Mother to intercede on our behalf to her son, her loving son, so that we may weather this little hill that is put in front of us. Maybe it's not a hill, maybe it's a mountain, but nevertheless, Throughout the ages, the Virgin Mother has always prevailed and helped us out. Behind me is the Virgin Mother with her hands extended. In her bosom is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. She hugs us even if we are alone in our dwelling. She wants us to be safe and that's why she's extending her arms. But in the fashion of humanity, we also must move a leg, shake a leg, and do the best that we can to stay, as they say, six feet away from each other and uh, not to put ourselves in any harm. Stay home, go through your garages, go through your closets, and find those things that you haven't used for years. When all this is over, start donating some of the things that you have accumulated in your homes. This is just one thing to do while you're sequestered or you're uh, staying home uh, because you've been told to. And uh, so do things around the house. 
As I was driving this morning, I heard uh, a lady say, here in New York, we don't have cupboards in our house for food. Uh, our apartments are so small uh, that um, we, we don't know what to cook for ourselves. Well, maybe this is a good time to start learning how to cook at least two or three uh, dishes. I'm not talking to the woman. I'm talking to everyone. You know, men, get with it. It's not just ha hot dogs and hamburgers that you're able to barbecue. How about some gourmet stuff? Impress your loved ones. I ask that you continue to pray for all those who are caretakers and those who are sick and see what we can do to support them even by staying home. May the blessing of the Holy Theotokos be with you all the days of your lives.